Hello there, so today will be an unboxing. It is a DVI to USB cello external DVI capture device. So this is a find I had at Akihabara probably a few months ago. Um, there were, I think, a couple of units at this store, and they were selling for 1,680 yen. So that's about, probably 15, $15 or so. So this is actually a, as the name suggests, a device that will capture DVI video and send it over USB so that you can capture it on your PC. So let's just look at some of the specs that are written on here. The interface is USB 2.0. This is actually a pretty old device. There are actually, I think there's like a USB 3 supporting successor of this device out there. I forgot the name of it. It's something like DVI to USB 3.0 or something like that. Interestingly, this box supports Linux as well as the usual suspects like Windows and Mac. So oh, I'm actually interested in using this on my Linux system. And it shows you some of the supported resolutions and frame rates that they support. So this can actually capture losslessly according to the specification here. So that would be actually pretty nice because I was actually expecting this would be doing some lossy compression and I'd see some artifacts, but it says it's lossless, so probably the video quality is going to be pretty good. It's just a little um, concern would be that the frame rates are a little bit low. But then again, you really can't expect too much out of USB 2. Okay, so let's look at the box. It says, what's inside? One DVI to USB solo DVI capture unit, cables, universal power supply instruction booklet, no CD included. So I'm going to have to guess that we're going to have to get the drivers from the website. So yeah, this is probably a used unit, and it's just wrapped together with this some kind of wrapping thing. So I guess we'll just go ahead and cut it open and see what's inside. All right, I guess we can just start opening this up. Cut it right open. Let's see what's in there. Wow, actually, looks almost like it's new, but but it's obviously not new. And here's the actual device. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, it doesn't have any real scratches. I mean, there's a little bit of damage here, but it looks almost like it's new. Cool. So what else is in there? No CD included? Okay. All the cables, yeah, DVI cable, power supply, and uh, the converters for power supply. I guess that's what the universal power supply means. And a USB cable. Actually, so this is actually a mini B USB cable, is, which is a plug that we really don't see these days. So it just shows you that this device is pretty old. All right, so now that we have this. I'm gonna have to try it out and see if it can capture anything. Oh, cool. This is actually made in Canada. Interesting. So I wanted to get the drivers for the DVI to USB solo, and I found the website quite quickly by just Googling. So this is the company's website. They actually have drivers for Linux as well. And if we click on the download link, they actually have applications that we can use. And the driver downloads are right down here. So I guess we can just go ahead and download this VGA to USB driver. Okay, so let's we'll go ahead and click on VGA to USB and select Ubuntu. And I happen to have 14.04 LTS. So let's go ahead and click that and 64 bit. And there it goes. It just gives me a list of drivers that I can try. So I'll just go ahead and see if one of those work. And one more thing that's kind of interesting that I noticed was that there's actually a link for Raspberry in this build. And there's actually also a mention of Raspberry Pi in here, so it might actually be that we can connect this to a Raspberry Pi and capture some video into the Raspberry Pi. So that might be actually an interesting project to try at another time. So first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and download the driver for this desktop and see if it works. Hmm. I wonder if that 
2034 generic. I wonder if that corresponds with the kernel version that I'm running right now. My machine happens to have 4.4.057 generic, and there's one for 4.4.038 generic, so that's the closest one I can see, so I'm just going to go ahead and see if that will work. So I've gone ahead and installed the, what's it called, the VGA2 USB Linux drivers. Then Ubuntu complained a little bit about the drivers not being adequate for this version of Ubuntu, but I just went ahead and ignored it and installed it. And afterwards I looked up about how to use video for Linux application. It just turns out that, just pretty much figured out that VLC player will be able to handle video for Linux inputs. So I just looked up some of the command line options I have to use and I figured out how to get it up and running. And here it goes. So you can see that there's a BIOS screen up being captured by the device. So as you can see, I'm pressing down on the keyboard and it's updating the screen. So, yay. So it turns out that the DVI to USB solo device is working as advertised. This is cool. So there is one thing I noticed, and it seems to be that the capture is, there's a little bit of a lag, so it's not perfectly in real time, but for probably most uses that I'm gonna deal with, it's probably gonna be just fine. So there it is down there. The Epifan DVI to USB solo device is capturing the DVI input through the USB to my machine. This is pretty cool. For 1080 yen, I've got a nice little frame grabber. I'm pretty happy with this result. So yeah, so for most of my uses, this is going to be just perfectly fine. So I hope uh, to use this device in capturing the video output from the IBM PC from 1995 that I got recently, and the red little Core 2 Duo server that I got back a few months ago. And this is actually the output from that little red server. So. I hope to post more videos in the future where I can actually capture the video directly from USB so I don't have to do these kind of things where I'm actually taking a video of the LCD screen. So if you enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you can give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos on this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. So thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.